Hello, my name is Diana Kwong and welcome to my presentation of my garment and its sourcing process and decisions. Here on the left is an image of the garment I decided to revise and develop. The garment on the left is a sheared corset long sleeve top with a thin bow tie front. For my design, I decided to take away the sleeves and add buttons for a summer look while also reducing the cost of production by reducing the amount of fabric used. For my design, I decided to go with a 100% cotton fabric called broadcloth. It is a structurally built woven fabric so it can be made into a comfortable garment without lining. The buttons I chose are, but, uh, are pearl buttons made of plastic. Sourcing domestically, most of the manufacturers I found in L uh, were in LA or close to it, so it has e so I can have easy access and le lessens travels fees if I were to decide to source locally. While if I were to import, I will have to consider the cost of shipping and handling. However, because these manufacturers are all wholesalers, the cost of production will be lower. Alibaba also has great, some great options on sourcing for packaging that are sustainable, like recyclable poly bags. It's possible to get that locally in the US, but it will cost more. After further calculation with estimated cost of material, um, with the estimated cost of materials, it was concluded that sourcing domestically will be more cost efficient than to import. The cost of production will be four dollars and twenty three cents domestically, and to import, it will be twelve dollars and um, and one cent. Here's a pest analysis uh, for the USA that I did. Politically, the amended Tariff Act of 1930 allows CBP to tax shipments of qualified imports of not more than $800 fair retail value. CPP, CBP implemented two new programs in e-commerce environment to protect against illeg illegitimate trade. Economically, minimal natural resources um, and machinery and skilled labor represented in manufacturing represents only 10.5%, however, cheaper and faster shipping. Socially, 78% of American consumers would rather buy American-made products, and 60% are willing to pay 10% more uh, for American-made products, whereas um, they wouldn't pay as much for um, products that are made in China or Indonesia, uh, places like that and higher minimum wage and safer working conditions than most countries. Uh, technologically, COVID-19 has pushed manufacturers to find new, more uh, profound ways to produce on a larger scale and reduce costs and distance for deliveries, which say um, ends up saving money and energy leading a more eco-friendly um, brand. Uh, here's the past analysis I did on China. Politically, China has invested 550 billion into transportation utilities to expand manufacturing across the country. However, workers do not have the right to create labor unions and fight for better working conditions. Economically, integrated supply chains help speed up sourcing while keeping delivery costs down. And 16.9% of China's workforce is employed in the manufacturing sector. And while having the largest population, this makes uh, for a lot of workers, which more, um, which means more jobs. Socially, since 2017, China has cracked down on anti-pollution. By 2025, 40% of the world's apparel consumption is expected to take place in Asia. Technologically, major government uh, investments led to development of transportation between major cities, creating which creates a larger web for sourcing. Overall, both the US and China has their advantages to sourcing from either of them. With the United States being my first option to source from, it will stay my number one option and China will be my backup. Having my, having my garments sold in the US definitely was a big factor into why I'm sourcing from here. Sourcing locally will help me cut costs on shipping and be more sustainability conscious. It will be easy for me to travel back and forth from the manufacturer to ensure everything with operations are going smoothly. There also will be a time difference, so no message. There also would be a time difference um, if I were to import from China. So there can be messages um, or product orders that can be delayed or lost in um, emails or calls. Of, of course, China is also a very affordable option. And at the end, if I were to decide to produce my garment there um, or to sell my garment there 
and have my brand there, it will be it will still be a cheaper option than the inspiration um, garment because of the materials and cuts I decided to use. And China will be my first option if I were to um, if my brand was based out of China. However, my garment and my brand currently is based out of the US. So my number one option will be the United States and my backup will be China. Another option I thought might actually be um, to source domestically for materials regarding my garment, but for shipping materials, I will source my um, source from China's number one e-commerce website, Alibaba, for sustainable shipping materials on a cheaper scale. And here is my work cited, and thank you for listening to my presentation.